these wonderful dancers who have I think we're going to find like big things like freedom, independence, um, you know, honesty, all of these really large words. One of the things is that I, I feel like um, in, the, in, the, in defining it in language, we um, crash into several binaries and uh, that's where a lot of problems arise. Also talking about it in the context of Independence Day is a little bit frightening. So I'll try to keep... Uh, Actually, we are not concerned yeah. about Independence Day. But, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, freedom in terms of, uh, like, what just happened in terms of our, our work and our boundaries. I think that at this moment, in a way, uh, practicing anything that brings you back into the body is free. We live in urban capitalist spaces and uh, it's very hard to remain in your body at all times even if you're a dancer I think because I, can't, I mean I can't remain in body when I'm in traffic for one hour and that's just the smallest of our troubles in this in the city for example so I think anything that brings us back into the body whether we are doing the dancing or we are compelling you to be in the room uh, brings certain, certain joy and freedom for me that's a that's a lot of work for example, in dance, we have form, and then we say, okay, first you get the form, and that's when after that you can transcend the form. In improvisation, you have uh, a score, uh, and once you kind of you you know the score, then it's really free to kind of improvise and and uh, and go into all kinds of structure. In a way, it's uh, it's the earth, it's boundaries and the earth, body, and, the earth. and then what you do with it, your creativity, your expression is your spirit and uh, to be here I have to have the work so in that sense yeah I think uh, the two are kind of married in a way freedom and structure if not boundary